Hey guys, what's up? It's So Assassin here, and sorry that I haven't uploaded in the last like two days, almost three days, I think. Um, I have actually been pretty sick, and I haven't had much of a voice lately. Um, as well as my nose has just been really stuffy, and it's made it really hard to talk. So I didn't want to kind of give you guys a video that you could hardly hear me, or that wasn't very entertaining, and I didn't really want to just kind of like rush videos out. Um, I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys good quality videos and that you guys are actually enjoying the videos um, so and sorry if you can hear the clicking in the background that's actually just my um, blind um, kinda getting pushed around from the wind because it's really hot in my room right now so I have my window open but um, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, is hero gear worth going for um, the like gold armor on all the specialists um, just some kind of little things about if you should go for it, if it's worth going for, things like that. Um, so, one of the things is is that, um, yeah, it's cool because it's gold. It shows that you've used all the specialists, and it's really cool. Um, and it's just kind of something to show off in game, as well as in like the winner circle thing if you want. Um, so, but if you do end up going for it. Uh, you also get a lot of XP that you can get um, just because each of the challenges are worth so much XP and then the hero gear challenges are worth I think 5,000 XP per each of the gold hero pieces that you unlock um, so and there's nine specialists so that's a lot of XP to earn two times each time so that's 90,000 XP for just completing the two um, pieces of hero gear, the gold pieces for the actual character, um, if you do it on all nine specialists. So that's a good plus, plus all the XP that you earn for completing all like the specialist specific challenges and the abilities and the weapons, stuff like that, um, for like the actual challenges, uh, you actually get more XP from that as well as well as you can complete the mastery calling cards um, as well as doing this hero gear um, you can actually uh, use uh, specialists that you wouldn't necessarily think you would use and that you would enjoy um, you kinda get used all the abilities and weapons and kind of learn how to use them all and just kind of it's a lot more enjoyable because now that I have hero gear it's kind of just I kind of stray towards more or less one or uh, just a specific amount of the specialist I don't really use all of them like I was but um that's just another like pro and con kind of thing of it um, but honestly in my opinion it is worth going for hero gear um, especially if you already have dark matter or if you're working on dark matter and hero gear at the same time it really helps you level up really fast and that's what I loved about when I first was doing it because that was what was making it really so easy for me to level up um, now I'm just kinda like grinding through my levels and just kinda slowly leveling up versus how I was where I was going through uh, a prestige in maybe eight, nine, ten hours of actual playtime. Um, so, which kind of sucks, but you know, it at least it's keeping me busy. But uh, those are kind of just the little bit of things that I wanted to talk about with the hero gear. And again, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in the last two days. Uh, I'm gonna try and get ahead on videos. Um, so. Let me know if you guys have hero gear or if you're going on to do hero gear or if you don't know if you want to or not. But uh, honestly, in my opinion, it is actually worth going for the hero gear. Um, even if you don't have very much time to play, uh, it is still something fun to uh, do when you just jump on and play for a little bit. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy and it has been so assassin and I'm going to talk to you later.